Hey, Carla Zen Queen here today. Not sure how well you can see me. I'm inside the house and we got some brightness coming in. All right. Anyways, um, today is day number three of my blogging challenge. I know you can see my bathroom in the corner. Um, anyways, <laughs> today is day number three. Um, I look like heck. We've had rain and I live in a very low lying area of Corpus Christi. I'm very close to the water. So we've got some, um, like my yard kind of looks like a swamp. But anyhow, I wanted to um, get out, uh, get, well, get back in the house in this case, and um, uh, put, out, put out the topic for today, but also um, wanted to complete my, my part in that, which is um, to blog about my dream job, and um, I'm actually, you know, living my dream job. And so today was just, uh, it, you, you know, life... And, and I know this is true for everybody because we're all human. We all have um, trials and tribulations. Um, you know, any given moment of any given day, you know, we can be smacked with anything. So today, I'm I'm dealing with water and flooding and messes and and so um, not my dream job, right? But to get through life, I have to deal with that. And so I'm just dealing with things the best way that I can, and doing my job at the same time. And that's one of the great things about my dream job is that um, when life hits me, I can actually um, take care of my issues immediately, right? Like the water in my yard, I can go deal with that. I don't have to call into work and get somebody else's permission to deal with what needs to be dealt with so that I can live properly, right? I don't have to put somebody else's needs before my own. So those are two really big important reasons. Um, to me, why I do what I do, what gives me passion is um, uh, three years ago I was put on disability uh, due to a cancer diagnosis and I start already just even mentioning it, my voice gets shaky. Um, because that, that stuff, that type of stuff is still um, very emotionally raw, you know what I'm saying? Um, that was a very difficult time and so even when I think about it or when I talk about it, it brings back some of those emotions maybe that I didn't process through at the time. So working through that as well, and that's what I'm saying, life is just life. And um, you know, I think that uh, people need to be more open about that because I know at times I've felt very alone because I didn't have people that I could connect with that had been through the same experiences or might have felt the same way or um, you know, maybe have acted out in, in, a, in a wrong manner because of and just don't know how to process that. So being surrounded with um, people that um, can, can resonate and relate to what you're going through, I would be one of those people because I have one of those lives. And so um, with that, I, I was um, put on disability after being a businesswoman, very, very independent. I raised two children. Um, I've not really ever had a man long term in my life, so it's always been me taking care of. And so to get knocked on my rear end by cancer was very, um, I, I guess when, you know, there's, there's a process to go through with that too. And one of those processes, I remember bargaining with God, right? If, if you give me this, I promise I will, I will be this or do this, the bargaining process. And in that bargaining process, I finally came to the point of, um, of, of just having to let go, right? I, I just had to be okay with loss after loss after loss after loss. I just had to ride that storm out um, and not react to every loss as it came, right? Because that was detrimental to my overall health. But that's kind of what was happening. It was just a lot all at once. And so um, there's no disclaimer, right? Nobody gives this disclaimer when they're talking about the processes that you go through, is that sometimes when you go through these processes, they hit you all at the same time, right? It's not just one piece. It's like, you know, that's how my life has been. And so marketing's been no different. You're probably wondering, you're yapping about your health and your life situation. This is just kind of what led me to where I'm at today, the desperation of, of, of um, you know, having such an independent mind, um, one that, that works really fast and very creative and 
Um, you know, I say I used to be a dog groomer and people are like, what? Yeah, that's where my creativity would come out. You should see me with a pair of scissors. I'm one of them people that um, I can't cut a straight line with a straight pair of scissors, but I can cut a straight line with a curved pair of scissors. That's how talented I am. And so I've just taken, um, what are my assets? I, I'm, I'm wired a little bit differently than um, most people and I'm okay with that. I haven't always been okay with that, right? I've gone through, um, I've gone through just, you know, really shedding the people that, um, that, that their opinions would bog me down or, or make me feel less than, right? Like I'm some oddity. Well, I, I'm here to say I'm really glad that I'm on oddity because that makes me unique. That makes me um, very individual, and so. I really take that as a compliment. I don't uh, internalize that type of stuff. I just keep moving, right? And it's it's the same thing. Um, th that's how I've had to process through a lot of my emotions. I can't get stuck on them. I have to keep moving. And so it applies. You see what I'm saying? All of that applies to marketing. And and as I'm going through this process of of recovery and making change in my personal life. Um, I started writing things down, right? And I'm going to show you this board. This is like so private to me, but it's it's never been never been seen publicly before. Maybe it has. This is um I'll back up a little bit so you can kind of get a view of my desk here. But this board here is actually not a whiteboard. Everybody thinks it's a whiteboard because I wrote on it, right? But it doesn't erase. Right? It does not erase. So what's on here is basically permanently on here. And I'll, I'll go in here because you're going to see some older programs. Copy, paste, cash, ZNZ1, Big Cash, MCA is still around. Empower is still around. BSN, Affiliate Beast Mode, right? This is my plan, right? This whole board, I wrote this like three years ago, okay? And literally this is learn, apply, teach. And, and this was what do you know, Carla? And I made this complete list, and literally, it's um, it, it literally is a blueprint for everything, everything that you need to be a successful marketer. And this is what I followed, right? These are these are different different uh, traffic methods, right? Um, these are these are just some some words that I put here for myself, right? Um, how can you get how can you get yourself known, right? Um, I, I put in here 50k plan, fan pages, apps, profiles, hype, you know, some people like the hype, I'm, I, I don't like the hype. Um, you know, you just make a plan in the big one, believe, and then I've got mindset in here, right? I've got, where is the value? Value is um, um, in my programs, in the training, but really it's of no value to you if you never apply any of the training, right? To pay for it and to go in there is one thing, but to actually use these methods, to actually use these tools, to actually use all this, and I'm not saying, you know, every, you know, you have to have a plan. You do have to have, I don't want to say, I was going to say I don't want to say it every day, but you do have to have a plan, right? You, you do have to have a workable plan. Now this looks like, I'm going to back up again, that looks like a lot to do, right? This is a whole business plan. What are you working with? How can you make money with it? Right? Can you train people that way? Where do you get products from? What tools do you need to apply them? Where can you spread your information? Extra places you can spread your information. And really the basics of where you want to put your information, right? This is just social media, list building, money site, blogging, free traffic methods, affiliate marketing, Mastering marketing, which is, you know, get, getting into those actions and planning and scheduling and paid ads and engagement and connections. Finding your why and your my, mindset. Finding your why is so very important. Outsourcing webinars, funding, how, how people can get funding. This was a really big one for me because I started I literally with $25 in a dream. And then, you know, I love Amazon, so ultimate Amazon techniques. Now, this is all, back to me, this has all been here on my on my board for three years and I've been protecting it like it can't be erased but like I showed you it's not erasable but my reality is this I've had this on my board for three years and like I just said um, you know until you get in and actually apply them right 
I've got it going on right now where ah, I'm out of breath from talking where um, and, and that's where my passion is see you, you, I get out of breath because I get so excited about this this stuff is powerful it has allowed me it has it, you know abundancy because I took the opportunity to one believe in myself that that, that I was possible that this was possible for me right Two, I had to buy the training, apply myself to the training, and then apply the training to my business, right? Whatever that might be. Uh, if, if that is starting up just a fan page for your foundation for right now, or a YouTube channel, or a blog. I like blogs because, um, because they're, they're, they're so variable, right? I've got several of them. I don't blog on each of them every day. Um, but they get my attention. They all get traffic. That's my concern, right? They all they all have a potential to make money for me. And so as I, as I sit here dealing with my day of um, water and floods and, and bad weather, I'm very happy the sunshine is shining. Um, but as I'm out in the yard getting whipped up with the wind and the icky stuff out there, yeah. Anyways, um, so I'm going to get back to that. I just wanted to let people know um, my plan is... I'm building all of this out, all of this, all of that. I'm building it all out, all that. I'm building a training portal, and I'm 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 training on all of it, right? I've covered one. I've covered the blogging. Um, I I can still apply myself to that, um, but it's time to move into uh, some massive stuff. I'm I'm just I'm so hype about where I'm at and what I'm doing. I want people to know that even though I look like a wet rat today, I've generated $16,900. And that makes my voice shake again, right? I've generated $16,900 in the last 60 days. We'll, we'll say 70 days, right? And so that's massive, right? I've had um, some smaller successes online. Like I could, I could tell you how much I generated in a six-month period in Empower Network and it might blow some people away because I was only at the basic level. But um, that's a whole nother story. My reality started becoming the minute that it clicks how you can drive traffic to one thing you realize oh wow I can drive traffic to a hundred things and so I, I found if I could drive tra traffic to one spot and make a sale what would happen if I did that ten times? What would happen if I did that a hundred times? And so that's kind of why the daily blogging, right? What would happen if you did that a hundred times? If you had a hundred blog posts out there that had money attached to each and every one, do you know what would happen at the end of a hundred days? I can't guarantee a hundred percent anything, but I'm going to tell you something will have happened. Hopefully, that would be, you, you would see a return on your money. But it's, you have to do the task that drives the traffic. Whether that's blogging with SEO, video ranking with SEO again, um, paid ads, I don't care how how you're getting the traffic, well sometimes I do, you know, because you don't want to go the illegitimate ways, but buying traffic or generating traffic naturally like with SEO um, is the way that most people do it, right? Uh, whether that be, you know, when I say paid, that can cover, you know, a whole list of things. But anyways, um, not going to get sidetracked with that. My reality is, it's my time. It, it's time for me to um, not just not just preach what it takes, right? Because I've been doing a lot of this all along, um, but not in not in the beast mode ma manner that I know how to, that I know that I'm capable of. And so um, I'm finding my own challenge. Like I issued the 30 day challenge. I'm finding break that I get breakthroughs from my own challenge, from completing my own challenge. And that's really what the challenges are meant for. It's not, it, 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 it doesn't benefit me um, as much as it benefits you to get out there and do what you need to do for your business. So that's, that's my passion is teaching people um, how they can get past their blocks, whether they're mental blocks, emotional blocks, or, um, you know, usually it's thinking that, that gets us into, it's, it's usually one of those things. It's usually physical, physical, mental, emotional, 
uh, what's the other one? Spiritual things will hold you back. And then, um, those are all human things, by the way. And then there's this financial thing that was inserted by, you know, the big bad government. But, um, or, you know, wh whoever you want to blame that thing on. And so, people have used that financial as a block, too. And I'm saying, um, you know, the things that I've been through, the way that, that my life has been, I've had to learn how to process through um, difficult things. And I think there's a lot of strength in that, right? Um, there's a lot of strength in um, um, coming to terms with life on life terms. And, and that's really what I've had to do. Um, I don't... Uh, I don't want to say I, 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 you know, I have bad days, don't get me wrong. Like today, most people would consider this a bad day if you got to spend it out in the yard and blah, 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 right? But I look at it like what a great day to get a tan because the sun's shining again and it's not raining like it was yesterday and the day before that. And so it really is um, how I frame it in my mind. I'm not having a bad day just because there's, you know, things that were thrown at me that I did not expect, right? And, um, and so, you know, I'm going to steal Jermaine's words. Jermaine always says, you know, poor planning on somebody else's part does not create an emergency for me, right? And so I always have to keep that perspective, you know, keep both sides of that perspective that I don't always want to be that person creating the emergency either because um, it, it gives a lot of your power away. And I think um, I'm, I'm getting carried away with what I'm talking about. Uh, but anyhow, I'm, I, I'm just saying all this that's been sitting on my board, um, I, I've been talking with some really great people. Um, I've connected with, um, you know, I'm connected with Jermaine Steele, I'm connected with Nate O'Brien, Daryl Ford, i got to give you a shout out for those, that, that Bing ad training was just killer, and um, Alicia Jones, um, Thomas, Thomas Dansbro, and these are people that um, that lift me up when I need to be lifted up. Like I say, it's not that I don't have bad days. It's really how I reframe them. And sometimes that's not on my own, right? I have to reach out in my community and go, hey, you know, let's do this. And sometimes it's, it, it, it just, it's, it helps that process, right? It helps you process through that process. Because I think we all get stuck at times, but there's times where I also see a lot of people waiting, and, and, I, and I'm telling you, I, I just showed you a board that's been written on for three years, not erased. I'm telling you, it's not wake up and wait. Don't wait for something to happen. Don't wait for anybody else. Because that's putting, putting your success into somebody else's hands. And that's, that's a really mm, deteriorating mindset. Your mindset should be, I wake up every day and I do what needs to be done. I don't wait, you know, time waits for no man, for real. I know this, you know, like, like nobody, uh, like everybody should, but the reality is, 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 as I say that, I just showed you a board that I, you know, was very transparent and said, I've been sitting on this for three years, so I'm done waiting, and, um, you know, and that's kind of been a long time coming, uh, and there's no real reason for that, it's, it's not that, uh, you know, I see this board every day, it's right here on my desk, here, here's another way I'm going to show you. Here's another way I have good days, right? How do I stay on track? Look at this. Yes, I have my desk covered with whiteboard uh, tack paper, and I wrote good morning on it, right? Where's my focus? Right there. What do I need to do to stay focused? Right? It's right there. Foundation, keyword list, blogging for business, ping, index, syndication, analytics. It really is that simple. There's my, um, my funnel. Right? So giving away all my secrets here. Yet another whiteboard, right? That one actually has my personal bills on it. So um but so this is this is really um you know something that I look at um it, you know daily. And so it's not like it's not like um it's not like it's hiding here, right? It's it's here in uh, plain sight to me every day. And Every day I look at it, and every day I say, I gotta take action. I'm getting hot and sweaty here in the house. So I'm gonna head back out and um, deal deal with the swamp. And um, tonight I'm, I'm building the front end. Um, I'm packaging some things up and building my front end for um, SEO Sizzler. And then uh, Saturday we're gonna have a webinar, and, and, and things are just gonna be off the hook. Peace.